great goddess, the goddess of learning, Saraswati, the goddess of wisdom, grace, beauty, knowledge. I want to speak about uh, equity and equality. <laughs> it's a burning question, issue rather, since millennia, not you. The point that occurs to me all the time, how is it that the half or a little more than the half of world population always gets the rough side? Why we do not speak of man trying to be equal to women rather than always speaking about woman trying to be equal to man, woman's equality. My first point therefore is, I believe that the two wheels of a chariot, of, of, a, of any vehicle, should be well matched, well aligned, and then only there is progress forward movement. The men may find it a little difficult to understand. My second point has been for so many decades. International Day of Women. Didn't start in India, by the way. It started from our West. Why not International Day of Men also? My third point. I spoke about equity. Equity in opportunities, equity everywhere, and equity is the means to achieve the end, which is equality. So equity and equality have to be spoken in the same breath. For example, if you search the list of Nobel Prize winners, you will be shocked to see that among the hundreds of prizes, be in any field, the number of women Nobel Prize winners may be 120, 150, something like that. Not, it, it hasn't even crossed, I think, the 50, 50 number. And to remind you, great Madame Curie. Her husband refused to accept Nobel Prize unless his equal and better partner, Marie Curie, was also a, a part of the Nobel Prize, a winner of the Nobel Prize. Now, this sounds very strange to us Indian women because we've had women uh, uh, president of India women prime minister, women governors. I think at the moment there are about six or seven or eight governors of various states. And we have uh, women um, in the Supreme Court. And I mean, I mean, in Air Force and Navy and Army and teachers and scientists. And in fact, you know, the, uh, the, the, the India sent uh, this uh, Vikram to Mangal. Now what is it? Mars. These were the two women scientists who worked on it and who were given the complete credit. Just imagine. So, another issue, single parenting. Now it's a big thing, oh my God, she's a single parent, mother bringing up the child. I'll give you a small example from times immemorial. Because in India, you know, we speak about, you know, centuries and millennia. We have the collective memory, we have the Vedas, which date back to something like 10, 12,000 years ago, how many BCs God knows. And one small example of Javala. Her son has asked various questions in the Guru Kul. The Guru, in front of all the other children, what's your father's name? To which clan do you belong? All that, you know, before giving him entry. And the child says, I don't know. He runs back crying to his mother. And the mother comes with him crossing the river Narmada, which exactly splits India into half, North India, South India. 
It's the oldest river, it's older than Ganga, the Ganges. And uh, he stands there and tells the Guru, the great sage of Gautama, you ask my son, my name is Jabala, I'm the mother. He is my son, Satyakam. You only need to know that much. Sir, I have served many masters. I work in the households. But for you, it's enough to know I'm the mother, Jabala, he's Satyakam. And the Guru stood up and did a big, big, big namaskar. And that boy went on to become a great rishi, a great sage, Satyakam. And today's city of Jabalpur, in the central province of India, Madhya Pradesh, is named after the mother Jabala, and there is the river Narmada. So, I give you these kind of uh, examples and little thought that the issue is age old, differs in different parts of the world, even within our own country, India today, in different parts of the country. There are different levels, but my idea is that worldwide, 50% in all policy-making bodies should be women. And where there are women, things go right. Women know how to keep balance. Women are thoughtful. Women are wise. Women have that inner strength and the suppleness. I am not casting aspersion on man. Please do not misunderstand me. But the innate qualities gifted by nature, the woman who carries the burden for nine months, goes to the labor field, brings up the child, be it a boy or a girl. What does it say about the strength of woman? And this woman who suffers, who knows pain, and who is the miracle who carries forward, in every species is the female that carries forward the cosmos, the, the cosmic design. So I think the final word from me is that while well, it is, well, okay, while it is useful to talk about equality, let us not be so short-sighted, I think we need to think back to our collective memory, a throwback, and the situation today, worldwide, it differs, and then take it forward. As I said, 50% in all policy-making bodies has to be women. Bravo! I wish you all the biggest, the brilliant test of luck, and I will conclude with my favorite sutra, a Sanskrit saying from our ancient books. Mayahi sarvam jetavyam aham jeyomatinachit. Everything is to be won by me. I cannot be won over by anything. That is the woman. I bow to her. I bow to the superpower of universe, the great goddess, the great mother, 